Hello Chaos Gang and welcome back to my bullshit. I'm Sybil and today I am here alone. If you want any of Ali's socials or mine, they will be down in the description below. So as you can see, I re-dyed my hair, which also meant I re-dyed my eyebrows. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I did over-dye them. So let's just get the roasts out of the way. I look like Millhouse when he takes his glasses off. I look like when you give your toddler a blue crayon and say, go draw. I look like a dumbass. <laughs> so I feel like we've been reacting to some Fuck off. So I feel like we've been react <laughs> So I feel like we've been reacting to some heavier topics recently, like a lot of misogynistic, sexist content, a lot of homophobic content. And while that's all fun and nice, I thought today we could just sit back, relax, and react to some Karens together. Y'all probably know what a Karen is. It's like these grown adults that go out and act super fucking entitled in the world. And like complete, complete bitches, basically. It makes me, it makes me giggle. It gives me a little tickle. You know, like the civil gets a tickle and the giggles. Okay. That was really uncomfortable. <laughs> Felt like a really odd tickle me Elmo commercial, but like for myself. Sybil. skirt right past that. <laughs> Luckily, YouTube is just full of Karen compilations, so I figured we'd sit back, relax, watch one together, and uh, vibe. So this one is called The Karens of TikTok number 31, and it is posted by Comedy TikTok. They're the person who made the compilation. They're the person that I'm reacting to. They're not the person I'm reacting to. They're not the people in these videos. They just put together the compilation. But yeah, let's just, let's fucking get into it. First of all, second of all, you called my employee a bitch. I suggest spirit he basically just told her to go die I love seeing like bosses or higher up or, or employers whatever you want to call them I love seeing them defending their employees when this shit happens fucking mmm like, you have these Karens that come in thinking they can say anything to these people because the customer's always right and they're just gonna get away with it and then they just fucking don't. I love- she's not allowed on her flight because she just called an employee a bitch. Love to see it. She said no, she didn't. I promise you right now, no fucking employee is just gonna lie about being called a bitch by a random customer. That employee just wants to do their job and go the fuck home. So it started over masks. Oh, mask Karens are the worst fucking Karens. If a business is requiring you to put on a fucking mask to do something, just do it. It's not that fucking big of a deal. Like I'm vaccinated, I care a lot about COVID. I still wear my mask to all the grocery stores and stuff like that. That's, that's what I do. But if you're somebody who really just like doesn't believe in COVID or whatever, it still doesn't change the fact that businesses are allowed to tell you to put on a mask, especially flying. You are not allowed to fly without putting on a mask. It states it in their policies. You knew beforehand if you read anything about your flight. The employee is a bitch for telling you to do something that you knew was required when you purchased the ticket. That's also federally mandated. <sighs> I love the, can I tell you what happened? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> love to see it. It brings me joy. Brings me joy. I want to talk about this song. Triggers. Flag. What did okay. she say? Yeah, you like heard it. right? <laughs> yeah, you heard right? I didn't hear what she said. Okay, why not? <laughs> now, I thought the American flag was real nice. Tigger? As in the tiger? As in the Disney tiger? You can like hear the kid like scream for a split second in the background like you know she just has like a little tigger flag up next to like the American flag for like her kid or something. What? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't 
say nothing about the shrubbery being cut. Or I don't say nothing about the backyard. But now, I don't like that. Oh, okay, I didn't hang that. My brother hung that. This well, I know. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I don't like it. Okay. And we have rules. I don't have, to, I don't won't have to go find out what they are, but I, I don't like that. I mean, this isn't a homeowners association, though. <gasps> we have rules. I don't want to put my time into figuring out what those rules are, because most likely it will prove me wrong. So if you could just do as I say while I have leverage by saying that there probably is a rule against it, then that would be awesome. She literally just said that they're not in an HOA. Like, so there aren't all these rules. Also, could we talk about the subtle shade this old lady threw to her shrubbery and backyard? In certain moments and situations, I'm not against knocking out an old lady. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> no, but there's rules for the community. There, 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 it's called Williamsburg something, and there's rules. Okay. So, um, I'm just saying, I don't like it. All right. It makes it look tacky. The association rules. Must cut your shrubbery. Must put your trash out on Tuesdays. And no flags of tigers anywhere. Oh, also the tacky comment. What a fucking bitch. I'd love to see her house. I'd love to just tear her apart on her house, because you know that's the one thing she cares about. Hit her where it hurts. Well, I think your house is a really fucking ugly shade of blue, but you don't see me telling you to fucking repaint it. Well, it makes the neighborhood look tacky. It, it doesn't, but that's okay. Huh. Yeah. I said it doesn't, but it's okay. You're allowed your opinion. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna find out about it. Alright, well, you have a good day. So this was the offensive flag. Yes, it is Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Oh my god, it's just Tigger holding a flower. <laughs> How dare people love their children and incorporate them into the family. Oh my fucking god, you have children? Oh my fucking god! I don't know if she's homophobic, she's just giving me those vibes. Because she's wearing the same outfit as the, as the they them lady. When my son said that he had to put down a pronoun first, first or second day of school, he thought if he did not, the teacher would assume he was a they, them, and he was terrified. I identify myself. You do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of thought. The energy was so intense. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't meant to comment on her fucking energy. Like how I could feel it through the screen. Like I felt attacked and uncomfortable. I was like, this is a whole lot at once. But then the woman of God, I need to know more. I need to know more. What's after that? This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God and you are not. Why do people think that being a Christian just makes them a good person. Like she's stating it like it's a fucking achievement that everybody should suck her dick over. I am a woman of God, so therefore I must be respected. Get down on your knees and suck my giant massive schlong. Like no bitch, what the fuck? Ugh. It's like I know I have to keep watching it, but her voice is so fucking annoying. Put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. You understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to. And it's not going to happen anymore. All I can think of is... These are bullies. These are high school fucking bullies. Fun fact, my camera overheated. It's like it didn't want me to go through the trauma of watching the rest of this video either. And it's like, no, I'm really sorry, camera. I appreciate the effort, but I do have to finish this video. Do you understand? The CDC just released... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. The rest was so quick too. That came out of fucking nowhere. I like how she also immediately flips the camera. Like, oh my god, I am now being arrested after being a fucking cunt in public and screaming at this woman in her own car. I am a woman of God. You cannot arrest women of God. <laughs> Oh, 
she just gets in her car and rams through the front and like runs over the workers and she's like, sorry, it was my diabetes skin. See, this is what I meant by like people that you look at and you just go, what the fuck? How did we get, what? <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, she's coming back. Of course she's a Razorbacks fan, like, pff, of course. That was a joke, I literally know nothing about football. Please don't come for me, I've never even heard of that team. Oh, the hot spin. Nothing, nothing you're doing here. I'm uncomfortable in front of my grandma, and I don't find that to be appropriate. Nothing you're doing here is making me uncomfortable at all, I don't care. Okay, because you know what, I have a few minutes to stand here. And okay. your behavior is inappropriate. Okay, I'll hang out here for you. I always think it's funny when they hit people with the, I have nothing else to do. Like, I have nothing better to do line. It's like, I don't need to go take care of my kids. Fuck them. I don't need to go take care of my granddaughter. Fuck her. This right here, this is what matters. I have quite literally nothing better to do but stand here for 10 minutes to yell at you. I mean, what are you going to do? Post me on bad drivers because your behavior is inappropriate? My behavior, right? I heard that, A, they're Canadian. Also, the sly camera pull out from the Karen, the gotcha back. <laughs> I mean, seriously? I, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. You ain't gonna oh, get anywhere. I just anywhere. want to show everybody the real, real person that you are. Oh, okay. And how you're rude okay. to me. Rude. You have no sense of rude. personal space. Rude. <laughs> rude. I fucking love this guy. You costed me to begin with. What? When I didn't even know who you are. Do you remember when Do you remember calling the kids cum trophies in Walmart? Don't talk to me about being rude. But you got in the middle of a conversation that wasn't your conversation. You're sc Okay, so in these videos, I'm often like, okay, what happened? You know, you usually find out at some point. She called a bunch of kids cum trophies. She didn't even deny it. She said that her problem was with him was that he got into the conversation. I'm guessing to defend the kids. Oh my fucking God. You can't call children cum trophies. Oh my God. She gives me the ick. Screaming at employees in Walmart. Get out of here. I'm not yelling at you. Why are you yelling at me? Oh Lord have mercy. Why are you yelling at me? All I did was call other people cum trophies. What is the what is the problem with that? Why are you yelling at me for that? Uh, why are why 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 are you yelling at me? When I am not being rude to you. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Oh, this is hilarious to me. I am having a blast. Uh, Clearly sure not. You, are. you being rude to me was appropriate. And I think that you should apologize, too. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, you yeah should... I'll see you here in a minute. You should apologize. You're nasty to everybody you come across. I mean, certainly, yeah. I can atone to several people that don't find me as being nasty, but okay. I mean, if that's the way you can... Literally, sure. There's literally a small there's army of people online. Walmart. There's a lady in there at the front. She doesn't see me as being nasty. Oh, man. I see you as being nasty. Also, that glare is really unsettling. No, I have a right to an opinion. You yeah, you do. You don't have to say anything about it. You have no right to cost me when my granddaughter's around. What? <laughs> I have the right to opinions, but your opinion that I shouldn't have called children that is, like, way out of line. Like, how dare you tell me that I can't voice my opinion, but also you can't voice yours? Also, my granddaughter was there while I was calling those kid cum trophies, and it's fucked up that you berated me in front of my granddaughter when I was calling those kid cum trophies. What the fuck? <laughs> so it sounds like she's done fuck shit before, and he posted about her doing that fuck shit before, so she's already mad about that, too. I just simply told my husband that the next time I caught him into Walmart, I was going to videotape him and put him on bad drivers and home for his behavior. But ma'am, you can't do that. This is a private property. I love how they just walk up and they're like, can you fucking stop, ma'am? This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, that one was enough. Now that was enough. Everything hurts. My head hurts. I hate her. I hate that. Ugh. Ugh. I would go look for the bad drivers video, but I actually don't care enough after that. I don't want to see anything else having to do with her. It gives me the ick. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want any of my socials or Allie's socials, they will be down below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you did as well. Or don't. You're just a fucking Karen. Karens are people who don't subscribe to me. So.
you know, if you want to be a Karen, by all means. But yeah, thank you so much. Do you guys want to see something really cool? If I take this little skeleton dude that's just fucking vibing and I put him up against the camera, it looks like I said bye. Well, I guess it looks like he said bye, but...